Hi, you are watching the SDC channel. Some of you asked for a hologram effect guide, and we listened. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to imitate an interface hologram in a video. Before getting started, make sure you have everything you need. A video where someone is using a screen device, a video with the interface that is supposed to be displayed on that screen, and your brilliant idea. Let's get started. First, create a new project and import your footage. Decide where the hologram will be located in the scene and which device it will be attached to. In our case, it's a laptop and a tablet. Now make a right-click on the video and select Create Movement Map. Place the tracking point on the device the hologram belongs to and hit Start Analysis. Once tracking is over, hit Apply Editing. Repeat the same steps for the second device. Next, import the footage of the interface, the one you'll be using to imitate the hologram. Resize it and place approximately where you want it to appear in the video. We'll adjust it in a moment. Make a double-click on the video and apply the flip effect. In the Properties window, find Direction and select Horizontal Flip. This way the hologram video will face the person using the device, not the viewers. Next, apply the Perspective effect. Adjust the perspective angle to turn the video towards the person. Duplicate the perspective effect Switch to horizontal perspective and adjust the angle for the x-axis. Now we need to attach the hologram to the device by means of motion tracking. Open the Add Object menu, select Movement, Movement Map. OK, great! Now the hologram isn't just hanging up in the air, but follows the movements of the device. Time to add some style. For instance, we'll add the glitch effect to the hologram video. Make sure to place the glitch effect layer at the bottom of the timeline. You can select any preset you like. Do the same for the second hologram. Now we need to change the light. Find the Blending Mode menu and select Screen. If there are two or more holograms in your video, duplicate them and convert them into a sprite. In the Properties window, set the following parameters. Use this container? No. Show effects? Yes. Fill background? No. If there is just one hologram in your video, there is no need to create a sprite. Make a double-click on the duplicate, video or the sprite and add the Gaussian blur effect. Go back to the main timeline tab, open the blending mode menu and select screen. Looks like we're done! If you liked this tutorial, 
give it the thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.